everyone so here I'm gonna show you how you clean them I'm just gonna use some baking powder let's put some baking powder like this and all you need to do is get yourself some fairy liquid or any kind any types of liquid yeah put some liquid right and get some water just put some water you don't need to do anything else okay and get yourself a toothbrush old used toothbrush don't use a new one old toothbrush okay there you go mix it up together and uh, you can put some soap soap powder i'm washing up you know, detergent powder soap let me see if i've got some laying about somewhere So we don't have it at the moment, so I'm going to just show you. Right, so this is just go like this. Okay, and go away all of them. Just dip in now. And just get that cleaned up. Like this. Okay. And then obviously after that you will, if you've got a pillowcase, that's great. Put it inside the pillowcase and put it inside your washing machine for a low wash. Half an hour. Don't for more than half an hour. Just for half an hour. And you're good to go. Make sure you don't overdo it. Make sure you do not overdo it. Whatever you do, don't overdo it. And don't put any other chemicals in there. Just, just baking powder, um, baking soda and some some fairy liquid or any type of liquid. Okay, do not put any other chemical with this. Or you'll ruin your trainers, okay? Do not put any other chemicals except baking powder and you know, fairy liquid. Don't mix anything else. If you do, Never ever put any bleach. Never ever put any bleach. Never. Because then you discover your you discolor your things. Okay? You burn them. Simply. Simply that. Okay now let there we are. Can you see? It's already cleaned. Look at that. Now that's how you add your value to your you hear? That means you have time to clean these, okay? If you have time, then use this method. If you don't have time, don't bother with it. The difference of selling at $15.99 and $25.95 is this, okay? Look. And that's the difference. So don't, if you have time, do it. If you don't have the time, don't bother with it. And make sure it's only only baking soda and a bit of fairy liquid or if you have some detergent washing up um, soap like things like dance or fairy washing powder washing powder okay don't add do not add bleach or anything like this any other harsh chemical if you do you ruin the trainers okay see like and that's how you train now let me let me grab the other pair and let's grab this pair here yeah, like this pair doesn't need clean but i'm gonna get this guy doesn't need clean up that much so i'm gonna give a little clean anyway okay. and once they're out i'll show you how how i manage so you know now the basic process I'll show you how clean they are when I get them out of the washing machine. And the, you, when you use the inner parts, I know it's a time consuming, 
So if you want to add value to your product and you want to make sure they look sparkling clean and obviously after the wash you have to you have to dry them there's a bit of marking here the blue mark as you can see there's a blue mark there here hopefully that will come off let's have a look mm, yeah, that's the stubborn mark so it's not going to come off right there you go as you can see how dirty this one look. Okay, look at this. Look at the rim. How dirty it is, right? So once you've done it, once I clean it, and hopefully it should be again here, look. Oh sure, hopefully it should sparkle a bit. Okay, let's get a bit more here. Yeah, let's get a bit of mark here as you can see. And I will show you once it's finished. There we go, all of this. So again, please make sure you don't need harsh chemical, only use baking soda and some fairy liquid. All right, as you can see, look, I've just cleaned one pair here. Look at it, look at it now. And take a look at the other pair, it needs to be cleaned. Look, can you see the cap, two cap? and on the rims now if you do have time then you clean them if you don't have the time don't bother with it it's really really con time consuming and also if you don't know what you're doing you'll ruin the the, the trainers okay so make sure you always use what is going on in, make sure you always use a, a baking soda and some uh, washing up liquid like fairy liquid and always put them within a pillowcase so I, i'm not bothering with the pillowcase now because i'm going to put half an hour into the machine so put it and then on the machine i tend to put some fairy liquid and that's it you can put some soap uh, but um I just put fairy liquid, that's about it, yeah. So make sure you do not use any harsh chemical to clean your trainers, yeah. It does add value, if you have the time, it does add value to the asking price. So it's different between $24.95 and $29.99 or $35.99. Just spending a few, few minutes cleaning them up. So again, it does take, it takes time, it's hard work. And if you prefer to uh, add value, then it's great. So that's, that's uh, so far, that's how you clean your trainers. And the same thing when it comes to Nike and Adidas and things like that. Same sort of principle. Right, Ron, as you can see, my cleaning process is finished. Now, look at these, how clean they are now, as you can see. Sparkling clean, yeah. Now, that's the difference between five pounds extra and 10 pounds extra when it comes to selling these pairs. It took me roughly about an hour or so to do this. Now I need to dry them out, so I leave them outside hanging on a both line. Let them clean and let them dry it up. And as you can see, there we are. It does pay off. But I'm sure you know it takes time and it's time consuming. If you have a time on your hand, then I'd suggest you should clean these trainers in your converses or vans or Nike or Adidas, whatever you're selling online on eBay. Just to do that, so that way you value add, you add, you are adding value to the pairs, yeah? So there we are, as you can see them, how clean they are now. So instead of asking for $24.99, you can ask for $34.99 or $29.99, simple. Just because of a couple of hours of extra work, that's all. 
So once again, look at the cap. Look at the cap of this. Look at the caps. As you can see, how clean they were to how they were when I start cleaning them. So make sure you use baking soda with a bit of fairy liquid. Do not use any harsh chemical. I always say, I always stress, do not use any harsh chemical. If you do, then chances of you will ruin them. You will ruin the trainers. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video. And on my other videos, hit the like and subscribe button. Alright, as you can see, I'm drying them outside now. I always make sure I sun dry, yeah? I always dry them outside. I do not tumble dry in case I ruin the leather materials. So never done it, never have actually tumble dry them. But if you have done it, leave it on the comment, but I don't intend to do it because I don't want to ruin these lovely leather, leather shoes or trainers, look. Because the heat from the tumble dryer may ruin the, the paint work or the leather. So that way I always sun dry it. It'll take about a day or two to dry. Hopefully if we're good weather, and we have been a good weather in London now, so hopefully within a day it should dry. So that's how you add value to your trainers.